Hi friends, today we're going to do this bag that it's made with the zigzag stitch and I call it like that because it goes up and then down, up and down and so forth. And um, also I consider this to be the perfect project because I had several leftovers of the yarn so I decided to combine, combine them and uh, well I liked the end result. I hope you like it and here's the tutorial. Recicla conmigo, te vas a divertir. Recycle with me, it will be fun. For this project, we're going to need the following supplies. Let's pick a nylon core number nine, uh, which is available in my website, ericacreativa.com um, forward slash shop, S-H-O-P. If you want to know exactly the colors that I'm using, you can always send me a message at elopez9123 at gmail.com and I'll let you know which colors I used. Or you can find me in Facebook as Erika Creativa and send me a message. For the bag that I did, the size that I did, I used 252 pop tops, but you can do smaller projects or a bigger project. A lighter, a jumbo size needle, a crochet hook, 2.25 millimeters, and scissors. Let's get started. We're going to need to use our plier and one of the pop tops to make a little fold where the sharp part is. I already did it on this one. And the only reason that I do that is so uh, at the time of crocheting our cord doesn't get stuck. And with that being already taken care of, we're going to start and we're going to grab two pop tabs. We're going to join them with two single crochet stitches. One. And two. Grab another one and also and put it under the previous one and all, we're also going to join them with two single crochet stitches one and two grab another one and same thing put it under the previous one but this time we're going to do four single crochet stitches one two three four and grab another one and this time we're going to go back to two single crochet stitches one and two and another one and same thing one and two and we're going to get another pop tab put it under the previous one and this one is going to be joined with only one single crochet We're going to keep adding pop tops and this time we're going to go back to two single crochet stitches. One and two and again two single crochet stitches. One and two. Grab another one and this time we're going to do four single crochet stitches. One, two, three, and four. So I hope that you understand what we're doing. So two pop tops with two single crochet stitches, the third one with four. Two pop tops with two single crochet stitches, the third one with one. And then two pop tops with two single crochet stitches and the third one again with four. Now we're going to go back to two single crochet stitches with two, I'm sorry, with two pop tops, one and two, one more, one, and two, and the third one will be one single crochet only. And keep adding pop tabs and with two single crochet stitches, one and two, another one, one and two. Okay. And the third is going to have four single crochet stitches, one, two, three, four. And this one with two single crochet stitches, one, two, and another one, two single crochet stitches, one, 
Me too. And um, you can keep going as long as you want and it depends on how big you want your, your project to be. I'm going to leave it like this and I'm going to go around these pop tabs and I'm going to do nine single crochet stitches on this pop tab. So I already did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And um, now we're going to go around and we're going to, where we did two single crochet stitches, we're going to do two single crochet stitches as well on this side. So one and two and the other one one and two now we're where we did four single crochet stitches and as you can see the same pop tabs are indicating us how many stitches we need to do in this case we only need to do one okay one on this side four on this side and then we jump to the next one where we had to do two single crochet stitches one and two and we're in the pop tabs where we did only one single crochet and also as you can see the pop tabs are indicating us that we need to do more stitches so we are going to do four single crochet stitches so that's one two three and four and we're back at doing two single crochet stitches one two one two and we're all we're here that we only need to do one single crochet why because we did four on the other side see one four four one one four and two single crochet stitches here and here one and two and we're here and as you can see the pop tabs are asking us for more than two single crochet stitches so we're doing four i already did three and this is my number four and back with two single crochet one and two one and two and here we only need to do one and back with no, uh, two single crochet one two one and two and we're going to go around and on this one we have to do the same thing that we did here which is nine single crochet stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine and we're going to close with the slip stitch cut the cord don't forget to tighten and then hide the excess cord So we're going to do several pieces. Um, for this project I did four rows and I used two different colors. If you want to use different colors this is a nice project to try them. Uh, for instance I'm doing this combination that is like great gradual intensity starting from a white and ending with a black color. We're going to need, need a jumbo size needle and use the same cord that we're using we're going to face them together so that we're seeing the inside and join them from the corner and grab this end a little bit because otherwise it's going to go and again just to make sure that it's going to okay. 
bring it inside that little ring and again tight okay and from that point we can start and let me explain we're going to use see these um, stitches that we had because we did single crochet stitches okay so we're going to use this at the middle or that part that is going that is inside okay so for instance we have these stitches and we're only going to use this this thread okay which is uh, by the way the one that we have the most visible by the position that we have And this is how it's coming out. And we have to continue like this. And we have to continue joining with the needle and the cord until we get here. I already got to the end. I'm going to do my last stitch. And this process we're going to repeat it with the rest of the pieces until we have a single piece now that we have a single piece we need to make this even so in order to achieve that we're going to do a combination of stitches we're going to start in one corner and we're going to do a we need to do a triple crochet but for that we're, we're going to do three chain stitches which is going to count as a triple crochet so i already have two and three and i'm going to make a triple crochet on the next stitch and i the triple crochet i do it this way i, I print a loop and then I print the crochet hook where I need that triple crochet and I'm going to have three loops and I'm going to pull my, my crochet one, two and three times and the next stitch is a double crochet and the double crochet I do it this way it's I print a loop print the crochet hook where I need that stitch and I'm going to pull the, the crochet two times once and twice and I need another double crochet and then two half double crochet and the double crochet that half double crochet I this is the way that I do it I bring a loop and then bring the crochet hook where I need that half double crochet and I'm going to have three loops but I'm going to pull the crochet just once and another half double crochet And as you notice, we're already here at the stitches where they're the highest and we're going to do single crochet. So we're going to do four. One, two, three, and four. And as you can see, this is looking smooth. And now we're going to do two half double crochet And then two double crochet and a triple crochet here because this is the deepest stitch 
so we need a stitch that we level up and that's the triple crochet and then we go back to the to do two double crochet and two half double crochet and four single crochet one two three and four and two half double crochet and two double crochet a triple crochet and then two half double two double crochet I'm sorry two double crochet that's one and two and then two half double crochet and four single crochet one two three and four and then two half double crochet and two double crochet and two triple crochet we're going to cut the cord hide the excess cord and burn the ends What we did here, we're going to repeat it on this side, but on this side I'm going to use the same color as this piece, which is black. And now we're going to do single crochet stitches across the horizontal side. And I'm going to start in the corner, and if you notice, I'm also including the stitches that we made on this side to make it smooth. So I'm going to start in the corner, and I'm going to do my first single crochet. And we're going to do single crochet stitches on top of all the stitches that we have available. So we will continue doing single crochet until we get here. I already got to the end of this round and we're going to do a chain, one chain, and then another round of single crochet. until we get here where we started and I already got to where I started I'm going to do my last single crochet 
and I'm ready to cut the cord, hide the excess cord and burn the ends. And we're going to repeat these steps on this other side. And once we're finished, we're going to need two pieces exactly like this. Once we have the two pieces ready, we're going to face them together like this and we should be seeing the inside out. That's how we're going to join them. And we're going to join them with single crochet starting from this point all the way around until we get here. And now we're going to bring the outside out. And I already added the, the rings in both ends and this detachable strap. And you can, uh, this is ready to, for the lining and the zipper. I don't think that any more accessories are necessary because we're using uh, a lot of color, so more uh, decoration will be, I don't know, too much, I guess. But I wanted to add this owl, like in a keychain. I don't know, it depends on everybody's. On tastes. Well, I hope you like this. You hope you liked this tutorial, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Please take a minute of your time to visit my online store at ericacreativa.com, where I feature most of the items that I use in my videos, such as Let's Pick a Nylon Cord Number no. Nine, Metal Purse Frames, and many more items. And also, I would like to invite you to join my Facebook page at, at Erica Creativa. And I do live transmissions, live tutorials on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So I will see you there at 6 p.m.